Hi, this is a brief introduction to a banking application using C++ classes. It is just an example, and it's to help my classes do a better job. What I'd like to see them do is to create a group of classes and use inheritance if possible. And I have created some basic classes, which is the foundation, and then also a samples checking class and a sample mortgage class. This uh, hopefully will help you uh, understand the assignment and I'll just go over what I have. You can use some of the ideas or you can create your own. It's a lot better actually, actually creating your own material. And now, Okay, let's go ahead and this is the main class, which is the bank account class. And it's the header, if you notice I have, then the constants, which are just defined here, bank account, to make sure this is not included more than once. And I think I have IO stream and string included all my files. And then it includes date.h, which I'll get into a little bit later. And I have an enum. Some say I should use class, but I found that this did not work, but I just have it here to show you that I could use it. And then I'm just doing an enum accounts. And then it's defined as bank checking interest Oops. If I can spell correctly. Interest checking, free checking, savings, CD, and mortgage. Then the private variables I have here are type of account, account num. And this one is key because I have a separate class that generates the account number, but I need to load it in here to make sure it stays the same. Uh, because using static then sometimes causes the account num to change which with each new account I create, and I don't want that. Then I have balance, first name, middle name, last name, and birthday. So these are going to be the same in all accounts. Eventually, probably I will create a customer class and something that might be a challenge for you. If you create a customer class, then you can then when you're creating a new account, just go through the customer lists and ask, are any of these people the person you would like for this account? And if so, then use the already defined person. Otherwise, then with the way that this is, you have to enter the information for each account. And so it could get tedious and you would not want this if you're re really writing a real program but i'm leaving that up to you to do and to improve on what i have then i have these as protected functions and the reason why they are protected is because i would like to make sure that only the subclasses can use them and they're not accessible to any other class on init balance, this might have been okay to have public, but I just went ahead and then decided to force the subclasses to define this. And then I have add to val balance and remove from balance. And I wanted to have some name that makes sense here, but if I have a checking account or savings account, then I would have deposit and withdrawal for either of those, but with then 
on a mortgage, then I'd have some other terms for add to balance and remove from balance because it would be, um, well, it's, it's not a deposit and withdrawal. So then in it balance also, I probably in a mortgage would have a net amount of loan. So again, these are all protected, but I can use them from subclasses. It just means I can't use them directly from other applications. Then in public, I just have here, then if you notice, then this is a string array that matches exactly my bank checking. I don't know why I have, can't spell, but I can't. And this just matches exactly up with the enum. And then I have a constructor, destructor. Then if you notice, then a set name comes from naming the account and it's based on my enum, which is accounts. Then I also can have a set name with the first, last, and middle names of the person. And then get name will return a string with all three of these with spaces in between. Then set account number. This is based on the accounts because the first digit of all account numbers is based on which account I am setting up. And you can go ahead if you want to add more accounts or wanted to change the accounts, that's fine. Go ahead and do so.